Juan Miro, 1893-1983. Pintura, 1933. Eight shapes glide from left to right through the painting. They have features of human or animal creatures. A hand, a boot, faces, and breasts can be made out. The shapes are both soft and round and hard and pointed. They stand out from the thinly applied paint of the background as a result of their clear contours. Some shapes are entirely filled with paint, others only partly. If several forms are superimposed on one another, this is marked by a color change. The painting in our collection belongs to a series of 18 large paintings, all of which were completed in 1933. In these pictures, Miro draws on small collages that he had made previously from illustrations of machines and technical equipment. The finished paintings have traces of the original collages, but they are not direct copies. The artist has transformed the structural forms of the machines and the equipment into abstract, organic, and glowingly colorful shapes that recall living creatures. The artist described the working process himself as follows. In 1933, I cut shapes out of the newspapers and stuck them on cardboard. I added new ones every day. When the collages were finished, they served as the starting point for my paintings. I did not copy the collages, they simply inspired me to use new forms. Juan Miró was born in Barcelona in 1893. After failing to complete his commercial training, he attended the Academy of Art. In 1920, he traveled to Paris, where he met Pablo Picasso, a group of surrealists, and Alexander Calder. He had a lifelong friendship with the latter, traces of which are also apparent in his work. For example, the red shapes floating freely through the space of our painting could easily have come from a mobile by Calder. In 1956, Miro settled in Majorca, where he led a quiet life and finally died on December 25, 1983. Visit the Museum of Fine Arts Ban and see the original works. And download the free app Museen Ban from the App Store.